hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um today we are going to be making a short skirt with gathered ruffles and um to make this we have this crepe fabric we're going to be working with and um um definitely stay to the end of the video so we can see how we achieve need your tape room for your measurements need your your uh, fabric chalks you know because i'm going to be marking it directly on the fabric need your pins to keep the fabric in place a matching zipper uh this cat is also going to be having this um, hook and bar for the back uh to keep it in place to assist the zip okay so um yes your scissors to cut and um let's just get into it oh let me show you what we're making though This is what we're making. This is the skirt we're making. It has gathered, hoofed gathered at the end of the skirt. So let's get to it. So, first you have to determine where the right side of the fabric is. <clears throat> so, this is one of the things I use in knowing the right side of the fabric. When you look at the edges of the fabric, you see that the edges are perforated. They are tiny, tiny holes punctured into it. Now, when you look at those holes, you see where the holes were punctured through and where they are coming out from. Now, this rough part where it's coming out from is most times, usually, the uh, the wrong side of the fabric. While the part that is smoother, where it was punctured in through, is the right side of the fabric. Although I've seen in rare cases where some of the fabric is in reverse, but of course you have to go over it and then you can take it to direct light or to a brighter place and you look at it, you will see. You will see very faintly where the right side is. So we're going to be working with this technique I have now for the wrong and right side using the perforated edges. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark. The fabric I have here is going to be more than enough because I'm, I have a one and a half yards of fabric it will be more than enough for what I am making so we are going to be making a uh, pattern as the front if it's pattern drafting now you have to Cut the front and the back together. You have to draft it together and then cut. But for freehand, I'm going to cut the back, the front of the skirt first, and then use the front of the skirt to cut the back. This is a chiffon fabric and it's very slippery and difficult to manage. Hence the pins. I'm going to be pinning it all around. keep it in place and this skirt is very short the skirt we're making is very short the length basically is going to be like uh, 15 15 inches yeah that's short 15 inches and um, and 15 inches is including the band including the skirt band so what i'm going to be draft cutting out now is going to be the skirt part and then two inches for the band or one and a half inch for the band whichever way works okay so since we need like 15 or 15 and a half inches for this skirt so i'm going to be marking Considering that I'm going to be using one inch down to fold the edges of the fabric. I'm going to be using one inch to for the hem for hemming the edges of the fabric. So and then I'll be needing half an inch to, to join the band to the skirt. So I'm going to be cutting exactly 15 inches here. Because by the time you take out the one inch from the down part for the folding of the hems and the half an inch from up, you're going to be having a 13 and a half left. 
which is what I'm supposed to be cutting. But since I'm going to be removing it at the end of the day, I'm going to be cutting exactly 15, in, and then I will not cut the uh, band later on. Okay? Don't let the calculation confuse you. All right. <clears throat> For this skirt, this skirt, the the waistline to the hip, the waist to the hip is eight inches. Now, because I have an extra half an inch here that, that is for the um extra half an inch that is for the joining of the skirt to the bag, I'm going to be marking that eight and a half. I'm going to be marking that eight and a half. Okay, so half fifteen and half inches for the skirt including the hemming allowance and the joining allowance on the up here then we're marking the eight and a half for the hip so i'm connecting the lines with the same key here Alright, so the waist measurement I'm working with is uh, 32 divided by 4 will give us 8 plus 1 inch for that. I'm going to be using that 1 inch for that. So it's giving us 9. The hip measurement is 43 and a half. That will give us 10.875. <clears throat> so how are you going to be getting 10.875? I'll be using 10.9 instead. And I'm using the same 10.9 down here. You know, to get a to curve it a little bit under the hips, I'll just work with them. Um, 10. Okay? You can use your free hand to connect this or you can use your ruler to connect the dots. Connect your measurements. Now I'll be sewing this with um, one inch seam allowance. So I'm going to go ahead and mark one inch all round. Okay. Now, um, for the dart line, determine where your dart is going to be. For this you can decide to use your nipple to nipple measurement for uh, for the person who owns the measurement okay or you can choose to just use four or four point five inch so i'm going to be using the nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches for this and i'm going to be coming down to at least three and a half for this dance, we don't want it to get too close to the hip. So we added just um, one inch for the dart. So what I'm going to be taking out is half inch on both sides for the dart. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and pin everywhere all around because if you are cutting this it's quite slippery you might end up cutting the under to be shorter than the, the one on top the top piece so you have to pin pin everything chiffon is very very slippery very slippery
so I'm cleaning every part of it to be to keep it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So be, now, because you are working on top of the fabric directly, you have to be very careful when you are cutting, and be sure that you cross check your measurements and these measurements are accurate. Because once you put that scissors, then you can't take it back, especially if you don't have enough fabric left to correct your mistake. Okay. And this is what I need. I can go ahead and cut. Now, um, when you are making a skirt, now to give it a proper balance on the waistline, what I do sometimes is I come up by half an inch to this part. You come up by half an inch and connect it to the dark line. Hmm? And bring that half an inch, connect it. You do this even in trouser making, in cutting of your trousers. Connect it to your uh, that, the second dark line. So you also include that in your uh, allowance. Hmm? Let's go ahead and cut it out. Well, thank God I hadn't cut it out before I remembered. So for this skirt part, to indicate where my dart is, I like to do this when I'm cutting. So after taking out the dart, I will go ahead and cut it out. Hmm? This is going to help me the time. Remember where my dart is. I do this in a lot of clothes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to now use this exact piece. Place it on the fabric and cut the back. Adding this uh, zip allowance. Adding the zip allowance. The zip of the skirt is going to be at the back. So wherever, wherever the zip is going to be for the dress you're making, that is where you're adding your zip allowance. That cannot be overemphasized. Every, even a beginner knows that. But in case you didn't, I just told you. I'm going to be. <clears throat> So I need one inch for my zip allowance. And I already put that one inch with I gauging. Let's confirm. Okay. Yeah, so we have one inch for the zip allowance. Now, when you are making your skirts, if the person you are making skirt for um, has a very steep back, that like the person's back is steeped inside, it's curved in. Now, what I like to do is take out half an inch at the uh, zip allowance. Take out half an inch at the zip allowance and maybe bring it down, but not too much into the dart. Not, not too much that it will take all the space. Because when you are still sewing, you will still use the same one inch for the allowance to sew the zip. So that it will make the back of the dress lap properly. Hmm? To avoid gaping. So I'm going to go ahead and take out that half an inch. And just slant it down what, a little bit. Okay? Now it feels like you're taking out two darts. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and show you guys what I have done. Here we are. I'm going to be opening up the 
zip allowance. Okay. <clears throat> Have this so wow, the front and the back now because of this um half an inch i took out from here you may want to use your marker to indicate where the zip goes to because if you look at it it's beginning to look a lot alike so you don't make the mistake although here it's quite very curved up but just to be on the safe side yeah <laughs> can indicate where your zip goes to so that that mistake does not come up all right now is this dress is actually going to be very easy to make okay what i'm just going to go ahead and do is join the sides together add the zips you know and then hem the edges you can go ahead and do the hemming first you hem the edges first before you join it join the sides put the zip and then put your band after putting the zip and taking out your darts that's when you will not put um, uh, attach the band okay let me go over that again again and 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 again so when you are cutting out your band you also consider uh, the allowance you are going to be using for the hook and bar you have to consider that allowance so if you want your hook and bar to be like uh, one inch you include it when you are cutting the band, the uh, this thing, your uh, band. Okay. Don't forget that. So, this is what I'm trying to say. Open it up. When you take out your bands, your darts. After taking out the darts, let me indicate where the back of this dress is on all sides. When you take out your darts, you hem the edges of the of the skirts. You hem the down parts of both sides, and then you will join the sides. You will join the sides with one inch, or the number of inches you've added. After joining the sides, you will not take out the part that is going to be down, covering uh, leading up to the zip. Now what I do is the zipper I add to this must get to the hip line so that the person can wear it comfortably. Hmm? So you are going to measure down where your hip line stops and you can also come down by one inch extra. So since I measure the hip line to be from the waist to the hip line to be eight inches, I can go ahead and use my tape now. Considering the half an inch we added, considering the half an inch we added to for joining of the band. I'm going to go ahead and measure nine and a half. This is where the zip should stop. Okay, now for this part, let's just pin. I'm going to go ahead and use one inch and sew it down. Okay, now these things you are doing it after you have hemmed. So, in fact, when you get your machine, the first thing you should do is hem the edges and then take out your dots before you start. Okay, that's for that. Let's first let's work on the gathers we need for the edge of the skirts for the pleated gathers now for this pleated gathers now it's about four inches folded in half to give it the thickness it has now to get four inches folded in half that would be eight and we need half an inch to join it on both sides so we'll be needing nine now I would like this to be gathered and to be really full and for that i'm going to be taking out uh, 18 inches which is nine into two so i'm going to be using um, two sides so i'm using the whole of the fabric that is left the full length i'm just going to go ahead and mark out this
I'm going to pin both sides and join both sides. Then you can now fold it together. So what I'm going to do now is join this place together. Go ahead and sew these sides and come back and show you guys what we're going to be doing. Mm? Next. Cut out the band. So like I said, when you're making your band of the dress now, of this dress, you're going to be making it considering the uh, the hook and bar of the dress. Okay. I'm going to make sure this one gets to at least two inches. Which means it is two inches folded into two with half an inch for joining. So what I'm going to be marking out here is five inches. Five inches. So we join these broken lines. band is ready so we basically have all the pieces of the dress we need so let's go ahead and start doing the attachments and joinings and folding of edges and the hemming i've taken out that if you look at this place closely you will see that um, this is the piece i left out to indicate where my dart is going to be the only purpose it serves is for indicating showing you where that's that is supposed to be by the time you you sew down your dart line you can now fold it to one of the to the side and pin it down and then cut it out so it has already served its purpose okay this is for the back piece and i'm also gonna head to indicate where my zip is going to stop i marked it when i was doing the um, drafting so this is the back piece and i've also hemmed the edges I've also hemmed the edges of the skirts and this is the front piece I've hemmed the edges of the front piece as well and I have also taken out the darts so I'm going to also fold this piece down and uh, pin it and then take out the excess that's for that and now the next thing I want to show you is the piece I'm going to be using for the pleating the gathered pleating at the edge of the skirt so here it is i've joined because my it, it, it can be as long as you want it right depends on the fullness you want okay let me just measure what i have here so i can show you i had to join this one because it is when i cut it out it wasn't as long as i wanted so i, I cut it into two pieces of it mm? let me measure it in yards yards okay three yards and 12 inches so that approximately three and a half yards so i have three and a half yards here as this piece so look at what i have gone ahead to do i've sewn it down i've sewn it because we're going to be turning it inside out i've sewn it and leaving at least three inches at at both edges mm? now i'm going to you're going to understand what this three inches is for because i'm going to be turning it inside out and then i will show you how why i left these three inches and we'll go continue from there so i'm going to go ahead and turn this out so I'm going to go ahead and turn it inside out and show you what next to do. All right. So I have turned it inside out like so. I'm going to just keep pulling it out until I pull everything all out. It is very long. That's why it's taking time. Because it's more than three yards. Okay. I have done that. I've pulled it all out now the next thing I'm going to do is um to show you how I'm going to conceal the rest of it because that is the very purpose why I had to leave this piece this side open so you are going to be keep uh, opening it up like this hmm? to be sure not to twist it when you are folding it because however you do it that's how it's going to stay so you will try not to fold it twist it just keep it straight up and um I'm bringing this together like so now here here is what I'm doing you take these two edges hmm? right size to right side you are seeing what I'm doing this is the piece that I left open on this side and this is the other side so I'm going to be taking it right side to right side all right 
and i'm going to go ahead and sew it so first let me pin it together to give it a neat edges mm? so it will be it will be neat when i'm done doing it before i can iron it when you, are, when you make it neat like that so when i do this after sewing it it is going to come out like so it will be so i've joined together then i can fold in these edges here fold it in like so that's the opening that i left fold it in and top stitch that way you have it neat all around mm? and it will be joined together and it's all going to be neat then i'm going to go ahead and iron it mm? that's for that now for this other part what i'm going to go ahead and do is attach the band i'm going to attach the band first before i put the zip so i'm going to go ahead and attach the band and do attach the band on the edge let me show you how i'm going to attach the band you're going to join the back piece to the front piece like so place them right side to right side and go ahead and sew with the one inch allowance that we use we, we, we put in place go ahead and sew it down on both sides now after sewing it down okay i'll come back and show you how we're going to attach these bands so we don't uh, just do only talking let me be talking and showing you at the same time okay i'm going to go ahead and do this and then come back and we continue okay i have joined the sides together i've joined the sides together we're going to turn it inside out okay here is what we have this is what we have the sides we've been joined together and uh, the skirt is already taking shape as you can see the skirt is taking shape already this is a zip opening at the back and then this is the front it's taking shape okay now what's next to do is um this is the band this is the um the piece for the gather at the end of the skirt it is now joined together now this is what we did the piece what we joined together the edges that we join together it still has the pins on that now i'm going to take out this pins and we, this is what you have now it's going to be concealed easily now that we have it like so what i'm going to do is take in this part and this part like so and uh, so on it mm -hmm. so this is what we're going to do bring in here and here together like this and then top stitch it to give it a neat finish and top stitch it to cover this opening and you know just go ahead and sew it like so this is how i like conceal this okay I'm going to go ahead and sew it like this, sew on it, and then you have the whole side to be all neatly finished and clean. Then you can open this, uh, open it up like so, keep it like this, and iron exactly on the seam. Okay, that's for this part. We're not going to go ahead and attach the zip. I'm going to go ahead and attach the zip using the one inch seam allowance that we've left. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the zip on, leaving half an inch for joining the skirt to the band. So I'm going to go ahead and join the zip and then come back and we attach the band. I have completely um, concealed this, this, this piece for the plating. So look at what I've done at the end. I've gone ahead to join that place and so it's hmm? okay so we have i'm going to go ahead and iron now when i iron it it's going to be flat and we can sew on it but in ironing it just concentrate on ironing the middle first don't give it sharp edges because we don't want it to have sharp edges when we attach it that's for this part okay now that i've attached the zip i've att attached the zip here it is attach the zip to the skirt have it and uh, now we're going to go ahead and attach the band 
So you open it up and bring your band piece. Now to add, to attach this band this band to it, this is why you have to leave half an inch so that you don't sew on the zip when you are sewing. It might break your needle. Some machines cannot handle it. So <clears throat> you're going to pin it down like so. You fold in this the zip allowance that is left. The zip allowance, fold it in like so to give you a finish finish and then you you take out the um, the ham, one and half well one and quarter inch and then you pin all the way is our zipper neatly attached so i'm going to go ahead and do this pinning and sew it i'm going to sew it Go, go on it one line so one stitch round all the way to here when we get here remember to also fold it in like this and so then i'll come back and show us how i'm going to attach the, the folding so we can complete it and conceal it properly okay so i i've attached the band sewn it one side this is it Attach the band all the way down to here. Now this is another method I want to show you guys how I can con how you can conceal your band neatly. So after joining it like so, and you are here, what you have to do is fold it like this. Put this in. Push this side inside, and because we need a part of it, like one inch, for the hook to the bar, we are going to be sewing down here and then go ahead and sew here joining it to the waist to the first seam and covering all the way like so sew it down now you can go in as much as this fabric can enter the band if it can enter the band all the way through all the way through to like the middle then you are going to get, end up having a very neat band very neatly sewn band and this is what I've gone ahead to start doing I'm already doing it on here I've sewn here I'm sewing here. I'm going to go ahead and sew it as well to as long as it can go in. And when I'm done, I will show you guys the outcome and we'll continue from there. When you do it, the method I just explained to you, this is how it's going to be looking when you are almost at the middle of the of the skirt. See? Going ahead to sew all like this and sew the way. And sew exactly on the same line where you play you sewed the first uh, part of the band sew exactly on it and then when you get here you can now turn it out you can now turn it inside out a beautifully finished band okay here it is now here is the other edge of the band look at it and this is the other side here I have to turn this place inside out. Okay, now this is what we have. Let me zip it. This is what we have. If you see, it's very. It's looking most like the one in the picture. What we have been creating. Yeah. So this is going to be going over like so. This is where the band. Uh, the bar and the hook is going to be going over so this is where it's going to be and the skirt is ready now we have to do the pleating at the edge now we have to do the pleating at the edge for me to do that i have to go ahead and iron i have to iron all the way i have to iron this and everything iron it down and uh, and then also iron the piece we need for the pleating. I'm going to also iron it and I iron it down. Then we can go ahead and do the rest. Okay. So keep watching, keep watching. All right, I have ironed it out. I have ironed out this piece. Here it is. I've ironed it out. This is the joining, both joining, both sides of the joining. 
this is the part that we turned it out from and i had to top stitch you have to iron everything into it so it's neatly ironed like so you can see neatly ironed being both sides okay now the next this is the uh, skirt also ironed the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be using a thread and needle hmm? to gather this piece to gather it i'm going to be gathering it like half one inch i'm going to measure from one inch from the top one inch and i'm going to use this hand stitch to gather it all the way around now why i'm using a hand stitch is because the gather uh, for the dress we're trying to replicate looks like pleating hmm? it looks like pleating so because it looks like pleating it means it was not gathered um with stitching with uh, machine stitching machine stitching is really tiny and it's gather more than this but if you use a hand stitch it will have this effect so i'm going to go ahead and bring my, uh, my uh, use my um uh, thread and gather it and then i'll show you guys and then we'll now attach it to save time i had to do this off camera to do the hand and a uh, stitching off camera this is going to uh, help us gather this uh, this piece and when you are gathering it like this with this hand stitching method it's going to look like it was gathered and pleated at the same time so because it's bold and big when you run a machine uh, through it to gather it might take time and it might not give you the effects that we are looking for for the exact, the exact uh, style we are trying to replicate so I had to use the hand stitch to gather it. I just run do the, 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 the stitch straight, but we have to gather it now. And to do that, here's our skirt. I've had to finish off this skirt by giving it a good weaving, by weaving it hmm? so that the inside will be clean. You can go ahead and do that too. It helps to make your work really neat and beautiful. So to achieve what we are trying to do now, Here's what I'm going to do. I have to divide this piece into four. And to do that, there, there is two, two different joining on it. So these two joining are joining of two uh, equal parts, which makes it a perfect division, right? This is just divided into two like this with this so one edge to the other edge now i'm going to fold it in half in into four to get the middle of the other side right and i'm going to have to pin it i'm going to pin each of the other sides so that the four sides of the dress the this uh, pieces is is pinned now why i'm doing this is because when you try to gather it on the dress without pinning it the gathering will not be even on all sides but with this method now i'm just going to place it on the four corners of the dress the side the two sides and the center front and the center back when you do that when, uh, by gathering it on the, in this method is going to even out the spread of all of this now remember this is how i'm going to do this i'm going to be placing it one inch a half an inch longer than the the skirt inside that way the same line will not be showing because we're trying we're not going to sh showing the same line or this uh, hemming at the edge so i'm going to be placing it half an inch longer than it and then i will pin so i'm pinning the side one of the sides i'm going to pin one of the sides like so now this pinning i'm doing now is going to help when i'm when I'm sewing on it, it's going to help us even at the spread. I'm going to go ahead and pin the rest and then we'll start gathering. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and gather now. And gather it. Starting from this side. Now here is what we are going to be doing. From here, you just gently pull, hmm? gently pull, and as you are pulling it, you are spreading the gather to the piece to the part that is supposed to be at. Hmm? 
as you're pulling, you're spreading it. I've gathered the front side. So now you're going to use your hand to even out this gather so that every part of it will have equal gather around it. You're going to spread it out until everywhere becomes equal. Now what I'm going to do is I take it to my machine and sew exactly on this stitch line. Sew on it exactly all the way around and then we're done with this cut and we are done we are done with this beautiful skirt i've attached the the hook and bar just hook it like so and here we are this is it the skirt is ready it's really finished So if this video was of any help to you guys, give it a thumbs up and um, feel free to share. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time and any time I post a new video on this channel. And I'm going to be posting often. So you get to learn how to make uh, simple dresses even the complicated ones as time may permit us you know and um yeah see you in my next video bye